Yo, this smartphone has seriously shocked me. With its incredible strength and durability, unusual design and complete with practical AI that anyone can use. I'm M. Kwan here on M. Kwan Reviews, but first, let me show you what you get inside the box. Most Oppo smartphones, there's a lot packed into this box, including an 80 watt SuperVoc charger with the USB cable. You've also got included this really simple, but nice plastic see-through case. It's got ridges on the back, that's gonna complement the back of the Oppo Reno 12 really nicely. But for me personally, nah, I prefer to use it without the case because just take a look at that back. Now Oppo are calling this the fluid ripple texture. It's really interesting. So it looks like you've got grooves and ridges on the back and it's 3D, but check this out, look, it's completely flat. They played around with the back glass panel. So they add some lighting and effects to give it this kind of look. It is incredibly, incredibly unique. And when you compare it with a lot of the other silver smartphones out there, this doesn't look boring. In fact, I absolutely love it. Now, as a good reviewer, if a brand tells you that their product is super durable, you should test it out, right? Now, I feel like the Oppo Reno 12 has been over-engineered because it's made out of a particular alloy that is supposed to reinforce the structure. That means that despite its incredibly thin profile and the weight of 177 grams, this thing can deal with some serious stress tests. Oh, it is incredibly hot right now, but the Oppo Reno 12 series has a really cool feature, IP65 rating. But one of the other things is it has something called splash touch. How that works is imagine you're out like at a pool or a jacuzzi, you get your phone wet on the display. As you can see here, you can still easily use that display. You can see there's still bubbles and water on there, but it doesn't affect the functionality. It's an incredibly useful feature to have. And guys, when it gets hot, which it is right now, it's like so, so hot. Just look at my face, I'm sweating like crazy. At the moment in the Middle East, we've got temperatures of about 45 to 50 degrees Celsius. This summer is mad, mad hot, but the Oppo Reno 12 series is able to deal with those extreme heat situations. So it can deal with up to 75 degrees Celsius without affecting the functionality and performance of the device, which is very, very good. Now, as far as that display is concerned, it is a very nice 6.7 inch display with the 3D curved edges on the side. I would have personally preferred a flat display, but it is very nice. Support for 120 Hertz refresh, which means that it's super smooth as you're using it. It also has Corning Gorilla Glass 7i as well for extra protection. Right, let's talk about AI because it feels like every company right now on earth is talking about AI. So with the Reno 12, what is interesting is that you get Gen AI, which is Oppo's kind of version of AI incorporated throughout the software experience. It runs on Color OS 14, on Android 14. What is interesting here is during my time testing it, I like how Oppo have used this Gen AI to practically help where AI can be very useful on a daily basis. So my first favorite feature is AI Eraser. Now we've seen other platforms use this, but on the Gen AI with Oppo, it seems to work really well because it can recognize more on the background. So for example, here's my image with um, the annoying lamp on the back. We wanna get rid of that. So I'm gonna go to AI Eraser and we've got a couple of options. Smart Lasso, Paint Over or Remove People. Well, there's nobody behind me. So let's just go with Paint Over and I'm gonna zoom in over here and I'm gonna start coloring in where the lamp is, as you can see and it starts to recognize what's there in the background. Give it a couple of seconds and it will start to also remove that. It's done a pretty decent job, nice and easy. Now I had a lot of fun with this AI Studio, which isn't yet available, but it will be coming soon. And this allows AI to basically turn yourself into a digital avatar or you know, customize your profile photo. You can do that for yourself or for groups. It's a lot of fun and it's certainly gonna make AI for photo editing and profile pictures. Right, another cool AI feature that I like, very practical. So imagine you're on a website here, you want it summarized. Now with this doc over here, you get the reading assistant. You can add AI speak or AI summary. Let's show you AI speak as an example. It will scan the page and then it will literally read out the entire page for you. And then you can also skip to the relevant part. All right, that's cool. That's a really, really cool feature. Another feature here, then you can go with AI summary. Again, it does the same thing. It scans that through and it generates a summary. We've seen this on other platforms as well, but having this on the Oppo platform on Color OS is a really cool addition. Right, let's talk about the cameras on the Oppo Reno 12. To begin with, on the rear, you have a triple camera setup made up of a main 50 megapixel, and that's made up of the Sony LYT600. You have an ultra wide camera 
and then you have a two megapixel macro camera. The macro camera, let's just start off with that first because it's the camera which I really honestly don't see a point of. It doesn't really take very good photos of macro shots. It just feels like a bit of a waste on this. I would have preferred to see a telephoto or even improved um, ultra wide camera. But that aside, the main camera here is actually pretty decent when it comes to taking photos in a range of different scenarios and uh, lighting conditions. You've got good sort of color here in terms of it's not over-processed. There is good details in the shots taken and it will go up to 10x zoom, uh, obviously beyond one and two X, the rest of it is digital zoom, but despite that, it does good overall processing on the images. Even in low light, you'll find that you get good image quality here. When it comes to video, that's interesting. Now video quality on the Oppo Reno 12 is decent, I would say. This is what it's like in 4K 30 frames per second. That's a maximum that it will record in. If you want to record with ultra wide, unfortunately you have to go down to 1080p, then you're able to record in 60 frames per second. But as I walk around now, this will give you an idea of what the stabilization is like in this normal mode. There is an ultra steady mode as well. This is the ultra steady mode. Again, in this situation, you get much better movement and uh, just steady stabilization throughout. But the downside of this is that you need to, it's limited basically to 1080p up to a maximum of 60 frames per second. Now this is what video looks like with the front facing selfie camera, 4K 30 frames per second. That's what it's limited to. Not really that great when it comes to stabilization, especially as I start moving around. But what I do like here is the fact that you can start to zoom in. So currently 0.8 going all the way into 2X. It's a nice little feature. But the fact that there's no 4K 60 frames per second, uh, both with the rear and the front um, video and the stabilization is yeah limited to this let me know what you think of the audio and video quality in the comments down now, below. as far as performance is concerned inside you've got the mediatek diamonds t7300 energy for reno chipset this is paired up with 12 gb of ram and on this model that i'm using 512 gigabytes of storage now that combination when it comes to specs is pretty decent for overall day-to-day -day use in terms of multitasking graphic intensive gen ai all of that stuff there's no real lag there and also when it comes to gaming it performs pretty decently with things like fortnite i was able to play you know quite extensively almost 30 40 uh, minutes at a time without feeling uncomfortable it doesn't get hot, it does get slightly warm, and I think that's down to really the cool architecture and the design on the internals when it comes to uh, heat di dissipation, but also when it comes to that chipset as well. Now that chipset also helps when it comes to the battery performance because I was able to get over a day and a half very easily in terms of my day-to-day -day use. And that's with me playing games, testing a whole range of different things out. Uh, yeah, it's done really, really well when it comes to battery life. 5,000 milliamp hour battery inside. Then in the box, Oppo have obviously included this 80 watt SuperVoc charger. SuperVoc is always very, very good from Oppo. That means that you're able to charge on the go very quickly. Uh, I was able to charge this from zero, absolute zero to 100% in around about 45 minutes, which is pretty impressive. It's about 20 minutes or less than 20 minutes if you wanna go from uh, zero to about 70%. And that there is the Oppo Reno 12 5G. It's gonna be available in the next couple of days in our region here. All the pricing information will be down below. This is certainly gonna be a mid-range smartphone to consider from Oppo, especially with the AI features and this new cool design. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that subscribe button, hit like, and check out this other video over here. I'll see you there next. I'm Kwan, peace and blessings.